Presets are a great way to save time within your post-process workflow. Within the Enhanced application, you'll notice that the Presets section is in the top left corner here. And each one of these represents a different folder full of presets. Enhanced comes preloaded with several presets for you. When you single click, it expands out the folder and it shows you all the presets available to you. Each thumbnail also gives you a preview as to what that preset is going to look like. If you'd like to view your presets in a larger view, go ahead and click on this arrow with the grid and you get that larger view. To return back to the Enhance application, simply go up to the Corrections arrow and click. You have options in how many presets are displayed. To change that, you simply go up to View, Browser Mode, and you can change it from one column thumbnails to make them larger, or you could change that to three column to make them smaller. When creating a preset, it's capturing all the adjustments and controls that are happening from the quick fixes, color tone and adjustments, all the way through to vignetting, sharpening, and noise reduction. And it's creating a snapshot of all those controls in the current state. To create that preset, you simply come over to the preset in the menu bar and click on Save Preset. You can give it a name, and then you can house that under whichever folder you like. You can even give it a creator and description if necessary. If you're ever trying to find your presets on your computer, click this button here and it will reveal where your presets are within your computer. Go ahead and click Create and that will make a new preset and take a snapshot of all the settings that we have over here. So we can see that our sample preset got added right over here. Now when you right click, you have the option to use the preset and you can edit some of the metadata within the preset. You can even update it to current settings if you want to adjust that preset at a later time. You also have the option to delete the preset if you no longer want to use it.